Analyzing end-to-end -end supply chain lead times holistically has never been achievable by any technology due to the complexity of every process a finished good can take to be created and delivered to a customer. But with object-centric process mining, we are able to work past this complexity to capture the true nature of how supply chains run. Let's dive into the role of Emily, a lean manager whose focus is to improve on-time delivery. She starts by filtering for the finished goods with the highest sales order value delivered late, so she can focus on the materials with the highest impact that are delivered late. Emily selects the first finished product which has the highest sales order value and the longest lead time. She clicks the finished good to investigate further. Salonis shows us the sourcing and distribution network of this finished good, every path taken to supply the raw materials required to make this finished good, to produce this finished good, and to distribute it to customers. We can also see the end-to-end -end lead time of each path and the sum of late supplier slash in-house production orders, making it easy for Emily to prioritize streams based on longest lead time and late supplier deliveries. Emily selects the stream with the highest volume of late supplier deliveries to evaluate the different inefficiencies within the procurement, production, inventory, and distribution value streams. Thanks to Salonis, Emily has identified the inefficiency in this critical path. The procurement of raw material in this path takes significantly longer than the lead time in the ERP. A planned procurement lead time significantly shorter than actual lead time is likely to cause stock out and impact on time delivery. Emily creates a task asking the material planner to update the lead time for this supplier and compute the new safety stock based on this updated lead time. With this action, the bottleneck in this path is resolved, and Emily can expect an improvement in OTD for this very important finished good.